My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Your weight's going to be forward. You're going to lean the shaft just a little bit for a low shot. And when you hit this shot, you see how you, you bend the left elbow and uh -huh. bend the left wrist. That's going to make it go high, not low. Okay. So you got to keep the left wrist and the left arm in a straight line. Let me show you what I mean. All right, watch the chip. Now his feet are close together. Now watch it coming through. See how the shaft and the left arm are in a straight line there. Left upper arm's connected. Now watch the lower body. The lower body is turning. There's not, he's moving his body. So that's a chipping motion. Now how far is he hitting that? Probably 10 yards, 12 yards. That's, so don't to, don't to hit the low break. shot, don't break. don't break your, yeah, when you come through, the re, that wrist has to stay like that to hit it low. You don't bend the left wrist. Look, when you come through, don't bend that left wrist. Keep it flat the whole time. All right, now, pitching. Let me show you the pitching swing. Toes are pointed toward the target. Shaft's in the middle of the club. This is for 30 yards like we were out there doing. You can use your sand wedge or your lob wedge. Your weight's over your forward foot. The shaft's in the middle of the chest. This triangle unit, your upper arms are going to stay against your chest there. Then we use the clock method. He's going to go back to where his left arm's at 8.30, 9 o'clock. Turn the chest through. There's impact. You can see the toe of the club. See how the club is coming in with the toe up? So he's not getting that face close. And he's not taking a big divot. He's brushing the grass. Now the chest is going to keep turning through. Notice the lower body. It's rotating as well. And there's symmetry to the swing. So his back swing and the forward swing are the same. And that's all you got to work on. Now, the, the, the two shots you learn, the high shot, you want to weaken your left hand grip, move the ball up in your stance a little bit. Low shot, play it back in your stance. Keep the club low on the back swing and low on the forward swing. So what do I mean by that? Keep the club low to the ground on the back swing and low to the ground on the forward swing and the ball will go low. You want to hit it high, get the club up, break the wrist, come in steep, and keep that left wrist cup coming through. 
want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this, you're not going to think of all that stuff when you play. You're just going to know it. I, I can think of stuff on my downswing. Well, it's tough to think about anything when you're playing, but you no, can I mean, see. I screw, that's why I screw up. I, mean, I start getting all these stupid thoughts. Yeah, don't think about any of this stuff. I want you to do the setup right. Like, your weight's on the wrong foot right there. Your weight's on your back foot. And look where his weight is. See how all his weight's on his forward leg there when he's finished? All his weight is, you should have 90% of your weight on your front foot. And your weight and your body turn. You can go ahead and let your body turn too. Alright. 